Satnam. My name is Sardarni Saiva Sarab Namkar Khalsa. I am a minister of the Sikh faith here in Española, New Mexico. The first teacher of the Sikh faith, Guru Nanak, wrote and sang hymns of praise to God. His travels throughout India and the Middle East gave rise to a spiritual path and religion known as Sikh Dharma. As we celebrate the winter solstice, with the return of the light, this hymn of Guru Nanak in praise of God and nature and the worship of God's embodiment in the natural world forms a loving prayer service, exalting God's light in the world. I offer this prayer of Guru Nanak and the Sikh Dharma community on behalf of this winter solstice celebration. Ra Gori Dipki Mahala Pela, Prayer of God's Light by Guru Nanak of the Sikh Faith. Upon that cosmic plate of the sky, the sun and the moon are the lamps. The stars and their orbs are the studded pearls. The fragrance of sandalwood in the air is the temple incense, and the wind is the fan. All the plants of the world are the altar flowers in offering to you, O Luminous Lord. What a beautiful lamplit worship service this is. O destroyer of fear, this is your ceremony of light. The unstruck sound current of the word of God is the vibration of the temple drums. You have thousands of eyes and yet you have no eyes. You have thousands of forms, and yet you have not even one form. You have thousands of lotus feet, and yet you do not have even one foot. You have no nose, but you have thousands of noses. This play of yours entrances me. Amongst all is the light, you are that light. By this illumination, that light is radiant within all. Through the Guru's teachings, the light shines forth. That which is pleasing to him is the lamp-lit worship service. My mind is enticed by the honey-sweet lotus feet of the Lord. Day and night, I thirst for them. Bestow the water of your mercy upon Nanak, the thirsty songbird, so that he may come to dwell in your name. Dear God of Light, as we approach this winter solstice, we pray and ask your blessings upon all of us in humanity, that you may shine your radiance and your light forth upon this planet Earth for the health, the healing, and the hope as we move forward into a new year. We thank you for all your bountiful blessings. Dear Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you. Satnam. Yat e she e merk tate in a she. Kintle cheat ni nishle do tachit ni bashis chin. 
Greetings out there to everyone who is listening here today. I introduce myself in my language, the Dine language, and I stated that I am uh, of the Red House people. And that's how I express myself into this universe and the holy people and the guardian angels can uh, hear my voice and uh, uh, recognize me as one of their, uh, a child of them. And I also stated that my father is of the red running into the water clan. My paternal and my maternal Grandfathers are of the Bitter Water clans as well. That's who I am as a, a as a Navajo person here. I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I make a, have a small home that I take care of here. And I also work as a hairdresser, and that's how I uh, make a living here in this uh, in this day and age. I just wanted to welcome everyone that's uh, listening here today. And I'm gonna uh, make a contribution in terms of a uh, in the form of a prayer here, a short prayer on behalf of uh, uh, what this uh, winter solstice means to each and every one. Kodei hujon do le tihama na hasan yadel tiel tihetra. Dear Heavenly Father God, I want to tell you thank you here today, and I want to give you all the praise and glory here in this life. I want to acknowledge all your creation and your elements here today. Thank you for everything that you've provided for us, all those that are here today with us in prayer. Thank you for providing for all the things that we need and that we seek here in this life here. <clears throat> Acknowledge this time of the year here where these planets and the sun and all the universal beings here that you've created align together to be able to create um, a winter solstice, a time of reflection, and a time of uh, peace here upon earth here. That we can recognize what it means to to us on an, ind on an individual basis. And that you can uh, allow us to, to learn and to have a, a, um, an acknowledgement of this time of the year. That it can um, help us here in this road that we are on, that it can provide meaning here in our lives to carry on here with uh, faith and trust and hope. In seasons of darkness, we come to cherish the sacredness of light. We look for beacons to guide and illumine our paths. For many Catholics, for centuries, an image that has guided us on our journey is the image of a woman who came bearing a message of justice, compassion, and solidarity. The image of a woman who came to a poor indigenous man in the midst of social strife. She comes to him, clothed in the botanicals of the earth, wrapped in a mantle of the stars, shrouded in the rays of the sun, and standing upon the moon. And she comes bearing a child in her womb, a child who we believe is the presence of the divine. He is there, and yet unseen, hidden beneath the earth, the stars, the sun, and the moon. It is Emmanuel, our God, with us. And for us in the Christian tradition, it is the pr profound affirmation the Creator proclaiming God's union and solidarity with creation, God's presence embedded in the midst of every moment of life, the imminence of that which is beyond our understanding and yet so intimately connected to us. When we come to trust in this truth for us, affirmed by Our Lady of Guadalupe, we come to truly see that whichever way we turn as we wander this dark season, there is the holy among us.
Dora. Love song to the great mother. Beloved one, our sister, mother earth, sacred woman, holy girl, crucible of mercy and fire of truth. Thank you. We have called and you have come. You descend on the wings of pain, the wings of joy, bringing solace and vitality. You rise through the roots of the trees, spreading shelter, offering refuge. You enter through the cries of the young, demanding protection for the vulnerable. Even as we bow before your beautiful body, you affirm the beauty of our bodies. You bless every particle of creation with your divine presence. We welcome you who have lived long enough in exile to dwell among us again. We offer ourselves as your loving stewards, your beloved reluctant prophets, radiant reflections of your own sacred self. Thank you, thank you, and again, we give thanks. Thank you.
Me dices él, lo de uno, dos y tres. Bueno, tres, dos, uno. Buenas noches. Soy Sister Chabela, hermana de la Asunción, y me uno a esta celebración del solsticio de invierno desde Chaparral, al sur de Nuevo México. Y quiero compartir con ustedes un poema que me gusta mucho de Benjamín González Vuelta. El sentido que buscas. El sentido que buscas llega él solo a ti al transformar una herida en una ventana. Al construir un puente con las piedras de un muro. Al acoger una angustia y transformarla en palabra. Al encontrar vivos en otros tus días perdidos. Al mirar la pobreza y contemplar profecía. Las heridas, los muros, las angustias, los días perdidos y la pobreza aguardan la luz discreta y transformadora de lo sagrado. Se Me despido con las palabras esperanzadoras de Zacarías hace más de dos mil años. Por la entrañable misericordia del Creador, nos visitará el sol que nace de lo alto para iluminar a quienes viven en tiniebla y en sombra de muerte, para guiar nuestros pasos por el camino de la paz. Amén. Winter solstice, a point of time in the relationship between the sun and the earth, a culmination, a turning point a renewal. The wisdom of creation is that although everything and every moment is unique, the onward march of time is marked by cycles. The daily cycle, the monthly cycle, the annual cycle or cycle of the seasons, the life cycle, cycles of families and neighborhoods, cycles of history. These cycles, these rhythms help keep us in touch with the natural world, the spiritual world, ourselves, our souls, each other. New confirmation and hope, hope is latent in each cycle. From the Baha'i Writings. A drop of the billowing ocean of his endless mercy hath adorned all creation with the ornament of existence, and a breath wafted from his peerless paradise hath invested all beings with the robe of his sanctity and glory. A sprinkling from the unfathomed deep of his sovereign and all-pervasive will hath out of utter nothingness called into being a creation which is infinite in its range and deathless, deathless 
in its duration. The wonders of his bounty can never cease, and the stream of his merciful grace can never be arrested. The process of his creation have had no beginning and can have no end. May you be an instrument of peace. Where there is hatred, so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. And may you be a safeguard for those who have no protection, a guide for those who journey along the way. For those who go across the water, may you be a boat, a raft, a bridge. May you be a home port for those who yearn for landfall and a lamp for those who long for light. For those who are tired, may you be a resting place. For those who need help, may you be a servant. May you be generous and helpful. May you cultivate integrity. May you be patient and see clearly the suffering of others. May you be energetic, steadfast, and wholehearted. May you cultivate concentration and be grounded so you can skillfully serve all beings. May you nurture wisdom and impart the benefit of insight to others. Like the great earth herself, enduring as the sky endures, for the boundless multitude of living beings, may you be the ground and vessel for all that lives. For every single thing that lives in number to the boundless reaches of the sky, may you be sustenance and nourishment until they pass beyond the bounds of understanding. May the communities that you lead, that you serve in, may they be safe, may they be peaceful. May you know gratitude for the gifts in this life. And may you be safe and may you be peaceful. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن إن بعض الظن إثم ولا تجسسوا ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتم واتقوا الله إن الله تواب رحيم يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل للتعارفوا 
إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم خبير God says O mankind indeed we have created you from male and female and made you peoples and tribes so that you may know one another indeed the most noble of you in the sight of God is the most righteous among you indeed God is truly all-knowing all-aware Litany of Sacred Earth Sacred Earth, fashioned over eons by the universe to become birthplace of life. Help us know you as embodiment of divine, maternal, nurturing love for the life of all created beings. Sacred Earth, beautiful, watery blue jewel, held securely by sun's embrace, bathed with sun's light and energy, nurturing all life. Teach us to value and deepen our communion experience with all creation as we co-create a regenerative, renewable energy future. Sacred Earth, mothering womb of all earthly life teach us your wisdom that we may be healers and whole makers through caring relationships in your interwoven community of life sacred earth for millennia at each recurring spring you respond to the evocation of new life to stirrings of hidden potential upsurging into being, greening shoots emerging from your soul-infused soil. Renew our hope, love, and commitment to actively care for and protect the sacred life community you bear. Sacred Earth, ever generous in bringing forth seasonal new life, despite human greed ruthlessly plundering and assaulting your body. Teach us resilience, generosity, and unfailing commitment to live as one earth community, to heal the wounds we humans have inflicted on your interwoven web of life. Sacred Earth, with grateful hearts, we give thanks for all species of life you sustain. For where there is life, there is change. And in the midst of change is our opportunity to be the co-creative energy of love for the good of all. Shalom. I'm Cantor Barbara Finn from Congregation Albert, and I'm honored today to be able to share with you a song by Alana Arian with a text from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 1. Nachamu ami, comfort us, comfort us, comfort your people, O eternal God. Nachamu, nachamu. Ami Yamar Elohechem Nachamu Nachamu Ami Yamar Elohechem Comfort us, comfort us in our wilderness comfort us as we struggle 
to take care of one another. Comfort us, comfort us in our wilderness. Comfort us as we struggle with this world. Nahamu, Nahamu, Ami. Whichever way we turn, there is the sacred. In the glow of the moon and stars, in scarred mountain rifts, in the wandering arroyos, in the dancing desert dust, in the salt of the tears we taste, in the light of eyes we love, in the people striving for justice everywhere. Whichever way we turn as we wander this dark season, there is the holy among us. <laughs> 